Our universe is full of both amazing and terrifying things. You already know about quasars, black holes, dark matter, and so on. But how about the horrors of space that you haven't even heard of? Would you like to visit the most bizarre worlds in the universe? And it's not me who made this list, but NASA themselves. Welcome to the Galaxy of Horrors, NASA's awesome Halloween collection. Please join me on a journey to some planets and tell me which ones you would consider the most horrible. Buckle up! Our first destination is a gas giant called Tress 2b. It's located 750 light years away from us. If we used a regular spaceship, it would take us about 10 million years to get there. Tress 2b orbits a yellow dwarf, a star similar to our sun. It also weighs about 1.5 times more than Jupiter. So, what's so special about it? Well, if you're afraid of the dark, you definitely don't want to visit this place. It's the planet of eternal night, the darkest one of all the planets known to us. But it's not that far from its star, so why is that? The thing is, the surface of Tress 2b reflects light even worse than coal does. Because of this, it seems that there's no light at all. If you were flying across the surface of this planet, it would be like walking with a blindfold on your eyes. Oh wait, actually there is some light. An eerie deep red glow surrounds the surface of the planet. This glow is created by the burning atmosphere, which makes Tress 2b a scorching planet. The air there is even hotter than lava. Oh, but if you think that was bad, let me show you the next place of our horror journey. NASA wasn't beating about the bush while nicknaming this one. Now, we're not just talking about one planet, but three at once. They're also located quite far away, 2300 light years from the sun. We would have reached them by ship in about 35 million years. All the planets are in the constellation Virgo, and each is extremely light, much lighter than the Earth. These three exoplanets are called Poltergeist, Dragger, and Phobator. <laughs> cool names, huh? It's because each of these planets is about to become a ghost soon. The thing is, they don't revolve around a star, but around a pulsar. Pulsars are rotating neutron stars with an extremely powerful magnetic field. In simple words, these are the stars that exploded one day. After the explosion, they usually emit such a powerful pulse that it causes the star to rotate at an unimaginable speed. Several thousand rotations per second. At the same time, they constantly emit electromagnetic pulses that affect everything around them. So, you've probably already guessed what's happening with our zombie planets. They're slowly, gradually being destroyed under the gigantic influence of radiation. One day, they'll disappear without a trace. Ghost-like planets orbiting an undead star? Yeah, zombie world is a fitting name. It's also not surprising that scientists nicknamed this pulsar Lich despite the long official name. Well, at least these guys stick together on their final dance. This planet has a long name, so bear with me. HD 189733b. This gas giant is 65 light years away from us. It would have taken around 1 million years to get there on a spaceship. HD, um, well, this planet is slightly more massive than Jupiter and orbits its star, an orange dwarf, all alone. At first glance, it may seem friendly. A pleasant blue color and curls on the surface. Kind of resembles a summer sky or foam on sea waves, right? Oh, looks are very deceptive, my friend. This planet has a pleasant cobalt blue color due to the hazy blow-torched atmosphere. This atmosphere contains silicates that condense when heated. In other words, the clouds on this planet have rain made of glass. Yes, it rains hot glass shards here. Oh, and if that's not enough, there's a raging wind on the surface, which is moving at a speed of 5,400 miles per hour. Just to compare, the fastest wind on Earth had a speed of 254 miles per hour, about 20 times weaker. And because of this, hundreds of thousands of glass shards rush horizontally across the planet's surface at breakneck speed. I really don't envy anyone who would want to try to land there. By the way, this isn't the only example of strange rains in our universe. For example, it rains molten iron on the planet Domitium. Or let's take so-called carbon planets. 
Their existence hasn't yet been proven, but if they do exist, there would be tons of black poisonous clouds, and it would rain pure gasoline and hot liquid asphalt. Oh, and also, raindrops would explode upon touching the surface. Eh, nothing special. The next planet, though, is actually really strange. It didn't just revolve around its star, it lived inside the star. This cosmic miracle is called Koi 55b, or Kepler 70b. This planet is very far away from us, 4,000 light years. It would take about 70 million years on a spaceship. It's twice as light as Earth and fully rotates around its star in just a couple of hours. A long time ago, it was an ordinary Earth-like planet about the size of Jupiter. It was peacefully and calmly orbiting its red dwarf star, Koi 55. But everything changed about 700 million years ago. Perhaps you've heard that in a couple billion years, our sun will begin to expand into a huge star, absorbing everything in its path. Well, this is the fate of red dwarfs. Sooner or later, they increase, turning into incredibly hot blue giants. The same thing happened with Koi 55. This star began to increase in size and heat up in temperature, gradually turning into a blue-white giant. It was ready to devour its nearest planets, but Koi 55b didn't care about it. When the star reached it, this planet just settled inside. And moreover, after some time, it left its star, simply returning to the new orbit. How was that even possible? Life inside its star turned Koi 55b into a red-hot round stone. It's one of the hottest planets we've discovered so far. The temperature on it reaches 12,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It's hotter than the sun, which is, let me remind you, an actual star. And for some reason, it's still alive and lives as if nothing happened. Unfortunately, sooner or later, the planet will disappear anyway. It's slowly evaporating itself due to the incandescent atmosphere. But still, it somehow managed to survive the journey through the star which isn't typical for regular planets, to put it mildly. I envy this willpower. However, not all planets are so lucky. Some are gradually being destroyed by their stars, and there is even an entire system among them. This last planet is a sad loner. It's located 870 light years away from us. The journey by ship to it would take about 25 million years. This planet is about 1.5 times more massive than Jupiter. This is a very sad, dark planet. A doomed gas giant, which is very similar to hot Jupiter, orbits its star all alone. At the same time, it's located so close to its star that its orbital period takes just one day. Of course, because of this proximity, the star gradually absorbs WASP-12b. The scorching heat of the star is slowly destroying and devouring the planet's atmosphere. The planet has only around 10 million years left. But what's more interesting, because of this stretching, WASP-12b acquired the shape of an egg. It doesn't even resemble an actual planet anymore. It's also very hot. The surface temperature of the gas giant reaches 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, a spectrograph of cosmic origin, or COS for short, found that the planet exchanges matter with its star. They're located so close that they give each other part of their chemical elements. This is a common phenomenon in closely spaced binary star systems, but this is the first time scientists have seen this in a star-planet relationship. What a unique system! To be honest, if I was guaranteed complete security, I'd be excited to visit at least some of them. What about you? Please let me know in the comments. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.